Smart Med, there is a timeline at the bottom of the screen. The timeline is divided into two. White area is telling you the past time, green area is telling you the time of the future. You can drag the timeline by left clicking with your mouse and just dragging it around. You have to left click over the timeline. You can zoom in in the timeline if you hold down the control button and then scroll in with your mouse scroll and scroll out with your mouse scroll holding down the control button at the same time. This orange area here is only related into editing and data length, so no need to worry about it right now. You can see the green dot on the timeline. It is telling you the time that you are visualizing at the moment. For example here, my green dot is here, and I can see the time that I'm visualizing on the timestamp. I can move in time, so I can move this green dot by left clicking, going backwards in time, and right clicking, going forward in time. I can also use the keyboard left and right arrow keys. The time step is defined here at the right bottom corner of this window. In this case, it's six hours, but by left clicking over this, I can make it smaller and right clicking can make it bigger. The smallest time step possible is one minute and the largest time step possible is 48 hours. So for example, if the time step is 12 hours, every jump I make on the timeline with arrow keys or with left and right click will be 12 hours. If you want to move to a specific time on the timeline, you can press down the scroll button over the time where you want to move to. If I'm using multiple windows, like map view 2 with the main map view, and I have different time step. For example, here on map view 2, my time step is 24 hours. If I change time clicking on this map view 2 window timeline, you can see that it's also changing the main map view time 24 hours. Like this. But if I click on the timeline in the main map view where the time step is 12 hours, it will use that time step. And this only works if you have set from the map view settings of the extra map view that the time is locked with the main map view. If you somehow manage to hide your timeline, you can have it back by pressing Ctrl T on the keyboard. So Ctrl T hides the timestamp first and then the timeline and then brings them back.